Hello, this is the Team Rush um, setting up your wireless radio and router guide. So right here we have our D-Link wireless router and we have it unplugged and powered off. So first thing we're going to do is on the back go ahead and plug in your power source into here and as well on this little switch right here change it to bridge mode. It will start off red but then we're going to wait until it turns blue and once it does, we're going to go ahead and plug in our Ethernet. Now it needs to be also plugged into your computer. And this is how you set it up with the hardware. So once you're done with that, as you can see down in our right hand corner, we are on Wi-Fi. Now what I would recommend you do is go ahead and right click, say open up network and sharing center. and go into your change adapter setting. Now my computer has a bunch of different um, wireless adapters so I'm just going to go ahead and right here and see where it says Wi-Fi. You're going to right click and say disable. And once you're done you're just going to come back here and right click and re-enable it. So once we're all done with that you open up LabVIEW and you're going to go to utilities and we're going to go to FRC bridge configuration utility. Go ahead and let this um, go past your user account control and you're going to have to select which it's plugged in it should say your local area connection and once you do go ahead and say OK go ahead and enter in your team number ours is 27 and then your WPA key now ours go ahead and name it whatever you'd like something that you'd remember it so we just name ours 27 WPA key. And then you can go ahead here and say configure. So now what it says you need to do is ensure the switch is put into AP 2.4. So on that back switch on the back, go switch it to 2.4 and you can go ahead and say configure. So this will take a little bit of um, time just to set this up. Now when you get to the FRC event you're going to have to um, either go to the field and they should have a laptop just like this set up and this is where you're going to have to configure it or you're going to drop it off at either your pit admin or your field admin. So we're going to go ahead and let this run. Alright, so now um, once this whole program has run, you should be good and go ahead and plug it into your robot. Now there was a couple of issues that we found running Windows 8.1 and the bridge configuration utility. So what we found out is if you go to your Windows Explorer and go into C, Program Files, National Instruments, LabVIEW 2013, and you go to labview.exe, go ahead and right click on it, go to Properties, Go to compatibility, say run this program in compatibility mode for, and switch it to Windows 7. Then your FRC bridge configuration utility should work.